So 1G here to factor this, if you look at these uh, exponents, what you really need to do at the beginning is put um, the terms in the exponents in descending order, or write the polynomial in standard form. You put the highest power first, t cubed, right? Then the next highest power is 12t squared. Put that next, and then 32t, right? Well, this is one way of going about it anyway. And now, always when you're factoring, always look for the greatest common factor because if you find one at the beginning, it'll make life easier. So look for a greatest common factor. Can you see a greatest common factor that that goes into each of these terms? It might be t, right? So t might go into each of those. So t times what gives t cubed? t times t squared, right? t times what gives 12t squared? 12t, right? And t times what gives 32t? 32, right? So we've pulled out the greatest common factor of t, and now we have a t squared plus 12t plus 32. Have a look at this trinomial, the black one. Does that look familiar? Does that look like a you know, a regular trinomial with uh, with just a, a, an x squared at the beginning, and you might factor that with the short method or, or the reverse foil method, right? So we can indeed do that. Factor the black one with the short method, and remember that your greatest common factor of t stays here. It doesn't disappear. It hasn't gone away. It, it's still here. But you're, we're just going to rewrite this black trinomial here. See. So what we need to do is find two numbers that multiply to 32 and add to 12. 32 is 1 times 32, or 2 times 16, 3 doesn't go in there, 4 times 8, 5, 6, 7, and then 8 times 4, and that's repeated again. So these are our pairs of factors. What two numbers multiply to 32 and add to 12? Well, if you look, how about if you use 4 and 8, is that going to work? So how about a positive 4 and a positive 8, right? Add them, 12, multiply them, 32, right? Now we can also check this answer. So here's our answer here. Well, you can also check this. And um, best way, we might just multiply these two binomials first and then multiply the t in at the end. So t times t, t squared, t times 8, 8t, eight 4 times t, 4t, 4 times 8, 32. So that's t squared plus 12t plus 32, so that's correct. And now we might multiply that by the greatest common factor of t. Multiply that by everything and see if that gives us what we started with. So t times t squared is t cubed, t times 12t, 12t squared, t times 32, 32t, right? Isn't that the same as what we started with? A t cubed, right? A 12t squared, and a 32t, right?